Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love cemeteries and haunted history as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be taking you somewhere new every week. Today we're headed to Crystal River where we'll visit the Crystal River Memorial Park Cemetery. Now this cemetery I've read online is all footstones. As far as a lot of the information about it. There's really not a whole lot of information about it. It is a newer cemetery, but like I said, I'm trying to visit them all. Enjoy. We're here at G Pepper's Bar and Grill in Odessa, Florida. Gonna go in and get a bite to eat. We are here at Crystal River Memorial Park. This will be another sunset stroll through the cemetery, which I've been doing more of lately since it's been getting darker earlier, but that shouldn't be a problem because my shirt's bright enough to light the way. Let's go in and see what we can see. As you'll notice, this is all footstones. There's no headstones in this cemetery or so I read online. Now, I don't know how old that review was or whatever, it may have been older because I see something over there. It might be bench style memorials, but it's all footstones here. So I don't usually do these because sometimes they're not as, uh, you know, exciting to watch. But I do want to visit all the cemeteries I can. We happen to be in Crystal River. This is on a busy street. Just look at that beautiful sunset. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I like these sunset strolls through the cemetery. They're pretty awesome. It's so peaceful. I just love it. This looks like a newer cemetery. I'm gonna see if I can find the oldest footstone in here so we can get an idea of when the cemetery was established. There's a few of this style too in here with the ledgers kind of barricaded in with marble. And that's a really nice resting place I feel only thing is there's not a lot of shade in this cemetery so I'm kind of glad that it's dusk because if you're coming here during the day there's not a lot of trees you know it's wide open so when it's the middle of the summer the sun's going to be bearing down on you pretty hard but there's only like 1266 burials in here which is a smaller cemetery so it's not going to take you much time to walk through it if you do want to come and visit the Crystal River Memorial Park Cemetery. This is really neat, I thought, what they've done here. It's kind of like all done in brick and pavers. And it's pretty cool. This is a Daniels plot. Judy and Herman Daniels. Herman served in World War II. I'm actually seeing a lot of World War II veterans buried here. So that's, that's pretty cool. And he passed in the 70s. I'm, if I had to guess, I would say that this cemetery was probably established sometime in the 1960s. It looks pretty new. Here we have another veteran. World War II Korea. Um, passed in 
It's very nicely maintained. We're close to the woods, so there's some skeeters out trying to get me. They love me. I don't, my husband is probably not getting bit at all, but I will get tore up. <laughs> so keep that in mind if you're coming out, especially at this hour between 3 and dusk. They probably come out pretty vicious. And the grass is really nice, you know, short grass. You know, you don't have to worry much about tripping over anything or weeds or stickers or anything like that getting on your shoes. Grounds are very well maintained. It's right off the main road. So it's, it's not the quietest up towards the front. They even have a little niche over here. Let's go check it out. My husband's been checking it out. Oh, cool. So these are the full body niches. Or the... The coffin is actually set into the wall. It's first placed in a resin container, sealed, placed then into the wall, and then sealed again. So that's what these are here. Looks really pretty with the sun, uh, the sunset kind of like shining on it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. See, that looks kind of 60s to me, this whole building. You know, the, the flat roof and the, just the way it looks, it looks very 60s. I think that, I, I would think that this is a 1960s established cemetery. Could even be late 50s, but, uh, this is neat. There's this little niche right here in the middle. Nice black marble, looks really nice. Here we have a death date of 1969. We're getting to be into the 60s now.
we have a family here it looks like this man was really young so they've got this cute little blue bench and I'm just wondering if maybe he had a daughter or a son that comes and talks to his daddy from time to time because he was a really young guy you know born in 1987 and passed July 6th of 2020 and his name was Jimmy Kelly and then there's a Jimmy Doolittle Kelly right next to him his dad and Bonita Joy Kelly really pretty family plot these ledgers are really nice too marble very nice I don't know how many people have done this in this cemetery but they put the solar lights up and I think that looks really pretty in a cemetery at night there's there's one over there too so some of them have that it, it just makes the cemetery light up really pretty Now this over here, this fenced in area I saw online. This could be for infants, I don't know. Yep. Yep, this is the infant section. So these are all babies here. I saw something similar to this. This setup. And I think it was one of the McMullen. I can't remember which cemetery it was. It was one of those over there in the Clearwater area, I believe, that they had it set up like this. But I thought it was really neat. Just all kind of gated in for all the infants at rest together here in the cemetery. As you can see, it's getting kind of dark. <laughs> That's all right. I'm not sure if I'm getting bit by mosquitoes or if I'm just thinking about mosquitoes. So now I'm itchy. So, I mean, it could be either or. But we are really close to the woods here and there's a retention pond there so probably a mosquito area <laughs> there's a funny looking bug right there you probably can't see it in the video there is one headstone and I found it here it is the spite mr. and mrs. spite family headstone so yeah there it is that's the one headstone in the whole place the rest are footstones. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty. And a nice ledger. Just plain marble. This is something I've never seen. This is a letter from the wife to my husband David who so loves, believes the impossible. All that I loved lost half its pleasure now that you are no longer here to share it with me. David, you were born to this earth of water, fire, and a spirit up for life. Life shooting out of your body. You were my ultimate partner. Your presence created paradise all around me. This allowed me to receive a glimpse of heaven and felt the sun from both sides on my heart. David, your heart became my heart. We became two souls with but a single thought, a single heart beat. You did all of this because of who you were and how much you loved me. David, God has been walking through no easy time now. I have seen fire, rain, and lonely nights that I thought would never end. That's James Taylor. <laughs> awesome. But I always thought that I would see you one more time again. Just one more time again. David, I believe our love was eternal without a beginning or an end. I now know the gift you gave me was supreme happiness, a true conviction of life and the consciousness of yourself. I have heard the fluttering of your silken wings. It is now my belief that the love you gave me and the person you helped me become has allowed me to get through my life now without you by my side. David, I miss you every day. I know our hearts will beat as one again and all the pain will leave from my body. Our souls will once again dance together with all the time 
we want together again. No one to tell us we have to go home. We will be one again. And that's from David's loving wife. I'd just never seen that before, so I wanted to read it to you. I was wrong. There's actually two headstones in this whole place. This one here, Donair, it looks like is the last name. And this is a husband and wife. And then there's a husband over on the, the Speet, I think was their last name, over in the other corner. And it's just the husband. And the wife is just here, waiting to join him one day. As you can see, we're losing daylight with a quickness. Um, we just got into Crystal River, you know, about half an hour ago. So this was the first one we came to see. I'll be taking you to some more while we're here. Oof. We're headed out of the cemetery now. Uh, yeah, the no see and mosquitoes are no joke at this hour. Uh, I think I got bit on my butt a few times. I am wearing a skirt today, so <laughs> keep that in mind. You might want to bring some bug spray if you're coming between the hours of 3 and dusk uh, around when the sun comes down because of the retention pond. There's quite a few uh, little critters wanting to bite you. But that does it for this cemetery. I'll see you at the next one. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's episode. I know that sometimes these cemeteries with nothing but footstones can be, you know, not as exciting, but we did find two headstones in this cemetery and there was some unique things in this cemetery. So it doesn't really matter which cemetery you go to, you're always gonna find something new, unique and different with every cemetery. And that's what I really love about visiting all of these cemeteries is that no two are exactly the same. I think it's really awesome. If you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll see you next time.